In this video, we're going to be creating a 3D dollhouse view in Revit. And it's actually going to be really simple. First, we just need to create two camera views. Then we need to activate and adjust section boxes on both of them. And finally, we just need to place them on a sheet. Now, of course, I'm also going to be sharing some tips and tricks along the way in order to speed up or actually skip some of these steps. Let's go. Now quickly, before we jump into Revit, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. If you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the best place to be with over 140 hours of content dedicated to all of the interesting and complex topics inside of Revit. Okay, so now without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. I'm going to be using my office building project for this. I have a whole course on how to create this model and all of the project documentation. But now let's create this unique dollhouse view. So for that, I'm just going to go here to level one. And as you can see, I have prepared some things. So I have these reference planes just marking out where I want my first camera to be positioned. So that's going to be over here. And also I've created this column, which is just going to help me as a kind of a a point in a space uh, that I can use as reference. Okay, so let us get started by placing the first camera. So for the camera view, let's go to the quick access toolbar, expand the menu here and click on camera. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the camera here in this intersection of these two reference planes. And then I'm just going to go past the building and I'm just going to be following that dashed line or that reference plane that we have there just like this and it's going to create this 3D view. Okay, so now once we have the 3D view in place, let's then create a section box. So let's go down here to the properties, find section box and check that on and hit apply. So it's going to create a section box like this. The next step is going to be to, well, adjust it. So I'm going to go back to my first level. I'm, I've selected the section box. Then I go to the first level floor plan and here I can actually adjust it in the floor plan view. So I'm going to adjust it here up to the column just like that and then adjust it here up to perhaps here adjust it in the front up to there and then adjust it in the back as well. So let's just leave it like this. Now let's go back to the 3D view and just see what this looks like. And as you can see, it looks really interesting. That's that's basically what I'm looking for uh, in terms of this 3D view. We can see this column, which we've used kind of as a reference point in space. Okay, so this is already looking really, really good. So we have our 3D view, we have the section box. Uh, now the next step is going to be to uh, change uh, just the detail level. So let's change this to coarse. So it's going to look like this. Uh, now, if you're thinking about, well, why is it blue like this? Here for this view, I've set the coarse poach material. So basically it's this uh, bluish material. By default, it's going to be this bright blue. I've just duplicated that and created a new, uh, new material just with a a little bit more nicer color. Anyways, now we have this uh, blue section. Uh, that's one part. Now the next step is going to be to actually select that camera view and then we can go back into level one. Now this can be tricky sometimes you accidentally deselect and then you can no longer see that camera. Another approach is just to be here in the first level floor plan. You go to the a project browser, you find your new 3D view. In this case, that's this one, 3D view one, right click and then click on show camera. And it's just going to display that camera, which is really cool. Uh, and it's going to be here so I can just uh, select it or it's already selected basically. And then what they can do is I can go here to mirror, pick access and make sure that the copy is checked on. So now when you mirror it around the center uh, reference plane, just like this, it's going to create a new view, 3D view two. And when you open that up, what you'll notice is that tree is here, but not here. Well, it actually mirrored not only the camera, but also the section box. So now the section box is, is cutting from the column to the other side. So we've basically created both of them here, which is really good. So 
we've created one section box and when we copied it, it cut the exactly the other side which we wanted. So this is perfect. Then we can just go here and make sure we uncheck crop view. Oops, not uncheck crop view, but uncheck the crop region visible. And then you also want to make sure that the section box isn't visible. So you select it and then you hide that element. Then you go to uh, the other view. And here again, we're just going to uncheck the crop view and make sure to hide the section box. Uh, and then for the column, you can hide that as well. You can even delete it. I'm just going to hide it in case I need it later. So this is what we have right now. Okay, so once we have the views prepared, now it's time to assemble them on a sheet. So for that, let's go to the project browser, find our sheets. I'm going to create a, a new one. So here, actually, we do we have a new one? Yeah, we already have a, a sheet, an empty sheet. So let's use that one. Uh, go back to your project browser, uh, find your 3D views. So they're here. Let's take the first one, place it just like this. Take the second one, place it just like that. And there we go. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make them a bit larger. So what you can do is you can actually select these, go to crop size, and then by increasing the crop size, you actually increase the view size. So make sure scale is checked on just so you get kind of a proportional scale. You see here it says lock proportions. And then for height, let's go with 300. Let's see what that does. So then you want to OK out of this view, select the second one and do the same thing. So again, crop size, scale, and then set this to 300 apply. Okay, perfect. And now we can just select the views. And here in the properties, we can just make sure that they show no view title, just like this. And there we go, we have this really cool kind of dollhouse effect dollhouse 3d section in Revit. Uh, now I've also prepared the this arrows view. So if I just copy that here, you can see it has these arrows. And then you can use this to kind of showcase that this is actually kind of an open 3d view just kind of just to give a little bit more information. And then also we can select this and hide the title. So it's going to look like that. So there we go. I think this looks really, really cool. Uh, so anyways, uh, this is something that you can now use for presentations. If you want to get access to this Revit project file or any of my other Revit project files, you can find that on my Patreon page, which I'm going to link up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe uh, for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.